Well, you know? a lot of white guys' perception of black guys in a relationship um, is the same as the, the little car drive in um, Reservoir Dogs when they're talking about how black guys treat their bitches yeah. and stuff. And then uh, That's why white guys kill their wives on a regular basis. One OJ, yeah, but what about the constant, constant white guys barely yeah. putting anchors on their Scott pregnant Peterson. wives, killing the, yeah, yeah. the new guy from fucking went to England. White yeah. guys do that all the time. You know why? Because they, they have this, this real, um, this illusion of how women want to be treated, and they do too. Mm -hmm. But women don't even know how they want to be treated. They don't. They're goofy. I'm just telling you. Goofy. <laughs> I like how they, they're and, and I'm not, I don't treat it bad. It's not even like you, you think. You think because it's tone and what I'm saying that I'm walking around shoving my girlfriend's head in the toilet when we're not having sex. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's like it's it's a direction thing. If you don't give your girl direction, she'll she'll give herself direction. And everybody's running around with like their heads cut off with chickens with their head cut off. Yeah. It's, I'm I'm just letting you know. It's 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 a oh you fuck him. He don't know what he's talking about. But they, white guys always end up killing their wives because white women are, ve are nitpicky. See, here's the difference. I'll give you two differences. Black woman and white woman. How do you All right. Things? I like this. Black woman, let's say, you know how women get this thing where they feel like, you know, you ever eat at a restaurant and you, your food, your broad. This is the thing that you have to learn how to do. If, if the, the way that you go, I want French fries, the waiter brings you rice. Mm -hmm. And your girlfriend goes... He didn't order. He didn't order rice. He ordered French fries. Excuse me. I'm looking, and you gotta go, bitch. I'm sorry. I can be in control of my own fucking <laughs> carbohydrates, bitch. Do not feel you need to protect my fucking plate. <laughs> Holy shit. Soon as they try to wiggle in and figure out a way to bitch you up, all you have to do is have them look at you like, you know what? This motherfucker is all man. I don't need to step in unless it's fucking necessary. I'm in this corner when he needs it, like a cut man, like a boxer. The fucking, the, the, the trainer doesn't get in and go in the dude's ear while he's boxing. Come on, motherfucker, jab! At the end, he goes, you all right, man, listen, you don't need help, you need help. That's what a woman is. It's like she's in your corner trainer to go, all right, he don't need my fucking training right now. He's, he's a boxer. He's a man. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. It's little fucking things, man, that you have to let them know. You know what? I don't need that. But women, I'm telling you, they get this thing where, uh, uh, back to the difference. The, the black women will go, like, say you go to a store. I used to have this girlfriend who, it was amazing. She would get me, if, if I, I could wear a shirt. And it could be ripped, it mm -hmm. could be sweat stains underneath, it could smell like shit. And she would get my money back. Because she would go in there, <laughs> and here's the difference. She would let you try to be a man. This is, this is why it's hard. It's harder to deal with black women. She would let you be a man for the five minutes that you needed to be, like, to get there. Like, you go, 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 go in there and get that money for that shirt. And you would go in and go, um, uh, I had this shirt for um, six months and it's had a rip in it. And I was wondering if I could move, nigga. You ain't doing enough. This motherfucking shirt is only, it's only been six months. Give him this motherfucking money back. Okay. Black women give you two seconds to try to be a man, right? And then, you know, they'll go for and it. They'll take over. And it's volatile. It's a volatile right. thing. White people's relationships aren't volatile. No. It's a white woman whispering man stuff in, in your ear until you kill her. Um, until you kill her. Sweetie, are you, are you going to let him? Are you going to let him? You know, you're not going to go get the money for that shirt. <laughs> Listen, stop being such a faggot. And, uh, stop being such a piece of shit. Uh, up a spiral's worm. And go get your money. Go get him, baby. Go. Go get him. Go. You're a man. Supposedly, you're a man. That's what I heard. And this constant needling and constant fucking e in your head until you fucking kill her. You snap and, and choke. All right, let's because you because you leave all your emotions deep inside. All right, let's go to Bill wow. in New Hampshire. Bill, what's up? What's up, man? Hey, um, Patrice, uh, just getting divorced in an eleven year relationship. Started dating this broad, kind of hanging out with her all day. I'm not really dating; I'm just becoming friends. I want to know, how do you think I should play it? White girl, got a kid, I got kids. You're just hanging out and shit like that. But I don't know, I feel a little... Oh, jeez, this is a little gay on the radio. But that's... Uh, I don't know, how should but I... But you don't sound like you have a specific problem that need be addressed. 
No, it's just, uh, I guess it would be the wife and her ex, those situations, dealing with the exes and the fathers and the mother of the babies. Oh, just, my, my girlfriend got a baby from another dude. I don't even know Oh, really? Yeah, I don't even know the motherfucker. Really? I never met him, How don't do want to meet that? him. How I, do you play that? I, I have sex with his, his, his baby's mama. That's her. That's his. That's his situation. See, that's the thing. You can't be so attached to that body, man. You, you forget it. It's like it's like you're never gonna meet a girl whose hymen ain't broken. You know what I'm saying? She, none of them are how special. Old, <laughs> how old's the kid? It's about seven. Oh Jesus! And, have you ever met the kid? Yeah, yeah. She, oh, yeah, she yeah. Made, made the kids. The kid likes me. I like the kid. I don't try to raise her. I, she just has to respect me because I'm well, a grown when the man. Kid, when yeah. the kid's father comes around, what do you do? He don't come around. He don't come around. And if, and if he did, I, I, I be. They know I, I exist. Uh -huh. I buy, I buy her beds and shit. I buy her like toys. I buy. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, really, you're yeah, I really confuse the issue with shit because right. I'm a nice. Yeah. Like, I did, but the thing is, that he'll, you'll never ever have to worry about that shit. Concentrate on your relationship with this chick. I'm telling you, don't worry about it. You always, here's the thing, man. A good relationship is always one where the girl is a little bit insecure. Not like, oh, bitch, your breath stink or your, 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 your head's fat. It's just that she she's not comfortable whether or not you'll be happy if you leave. I'm telling you, if she thinks you'll be ecstatic if she leaves, she won't fucking go nowhere. So you always play the card like you don't give a fuck, even if you do. Nice. And, and the beauty wow. of this whole thing is Patrice's girl is beautiful. She's gorgeous. Nice. She's beautiful. Yeah. How do you think a fucking mess like me could get a gorgeous girl? And I don't fuck with ugly bitches. I might fuck with an ugly bitch. It's all psychological. Oh, it's but it's, it's, I, I love beautiful women. I want to get, I, it's psychological. It's a mind hey, thing. Hey, I can't out-fuck anybody. Hey, My dick is, hey, hey, Patrice, you know, before <laughs> can't out-fuck a guy, some young guy with a good back. Before we, uh, 